So what we're going to try and do is determine whether there is any link between these two variables that we have, which are in this case the type of ticket, so child and adult tickets, and we've got two attractions, the theme park and the zoo. Okay, so these are the two variables. Now, this is what we refer to as the observed table. So these are the values that we have observed. We've gone out, we've collected this data. Okay, now what you're going to need for this are the total column and the total row. So we're going to have the total and the total. Okay, so extend that table out. Okay, so we get 180 plus 235, so 415. We've got 155 plus 430, so 585. Uh, we've got 180 plus 155, so 335. And 235 plus 430 is 665. And then when I add 665 and 335 together, we get 1000. And just double check, 415 plus 585 is 1000 as well. Okay, so that's the first thing that we do. Now, what we then do is we assume that the type of ticket, um, so the type of ticket either child or adult, and the attraction, theme park or zoo, are independent of one another. Okay, so remember that if two events are independent, the probability of A intersection B is the same as the probability of A times the probability of B, if they are independent. Okay. So, the probability of, um, let's say, a child having a ticket to go to the theme park, theme park, would be equal to the probability of being a child ticket, and there are 335 child tickets out of 1,000 times by the probability of going to the theme park, and there's 415 out of 1,000 for that. So 335 times 415 divided by 1,000 squared would be, so that's 0 0.139025. Okay, so that is the probability of picking at random a child who has a ticket for the theme park. Okay, now what we want is an expected frequency for that. So if I want the expected frequency, so expected frequency, then I need to multiply that by how many tickets we have sold, which is 1,000. So times that by 1,000, and we get our 139.025. So this is my expected frequency. That's how many I would expect if they were independent. Okay? Now, that's what we need to do for each of our four values in the table. Now, the easy way to do that to find the expected value is actually, uh, because what we're doing is this times this times 1,000, it's the same, because the 1,000 will cancel here, as doing the column total times by the row total divided by 1,000. So the expected frequency can be calculated, so sometimes written as Fe, so for expected frequency, as the row total times by the column total divided by the sample size, which in our case was 1,000. So what we're going to do is we're going to build up a new table of expected frequencies.
So we've got the observed frequencies, and this will be the expected frequencies. Okay, total. And we're going to have child, adult, and total. Right, so we've just worked out that one, 139.025. Right, so for adult, it would be 415 times, so adult theme park, 415 times 665 uh, divided by 1000. So this would be 275.975. And a child for the zoo would be uh, 585 times 335 divided by 1,000. So 195.975. And then the adult for the zoo would be 585, the row total, times by the column total 665 divided by 1000. So we get 389.025. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna just total these up uh, because this is a nice little check because these totals should be precisely the same as the totals that I got up here. So that's correct, 415. 195.975 plus 389.025, 585, good, check. So that's adding up to 1,000, brilliant. 139.025 plus 195.975 is 335, all good. And the last one, you'd think it'd be all right by this point, 389.025. 665, all good. Right, brilliant. So that is how we can get our expected values. So these are the expected values telling us what we would expect if they are independent. Okay, so now we need some way of comparing the two. Okay, so this is where we bring in the chi-squared statistic. Now, the chi-squared statistic is in your formula booklet. It is on page 11, about mid-page. Okay, so the chi-squared, so this is how you write the Greek letter, the chi-squared statistic is equal to the sum of the observed frequencies take away the expected frequencies squared divided by the expected frequencies. Now this doesn't look particularly nice, right? Um, however, what we need to do is we need to calculate what each of those are and then add them all together. And this is done uh, within the contributions table. So we refer to these as contributions. So, child, adult, theme park, and zoo. Now, I don't bother putting in a totals column here, uh, total row, total column, because um, I'm going to add up the values anyway yeah, over here. Okay, so how do we calculate each of these? So for the child in the theme park, the observed frequency is 180. The expected frequency is 139.025. We're going to square that and then divide that by the expected frequency. So 180 take away Oh, I should put a bracket around that. 180 take away 139.025 squared over 139.025. We get 12.07660942. So I'm going to round that to uh, four decimal places. 
Okay? Right, then we're going to do the uh, adult theme park. Okay, so we've got the observed, which is 235. Take away the expected, 275.975 squared, divided by 275.975. Okay, I'm getting 6.0837 to four decimal places. Right, child for the zoo. Okay, we've got the observed, which is 155. Take away 195.975, square that, divided by 195.975. So I get 8.5672 to four decimal places. And then the last one, we've got the observed is 430. Take away the expected, 389.025 squared, divided by 389.025. And we get 4.31579, so uh, 58. Okay, so that's how we calculate those. And what I'm then going to do is I'm going to add them all together to get my chi squared statistic. So 12.0766 plus 6.0837 plus 8.5672 plus 4.3158 and I'm getting 31.04 to two decimal places okay so that is how we calculate the chi-squared statistic from the original observed table the next step in the process, uh, so in the next video, what we need to then do is compare that against a critical value. Um, and that's going to form our hypothesis test.